Hey guys, it's Wolf and we are back with Timberborn and when we left off we had just started the 15 day drought. There's 13 days left. Uh, don't see that being too big of a deal. Uh, there's still water trapped down here now, which is interesting because my busy busy beavers decided to work over here. And also I had a great idea. Well, somebody left a great comment that, you know, great idea about putting a woodcutter because we have what one woodcutter two three woodcutters over here we don't need this many woodcutters right here so we're gonna get rid of one of our woodcutters over here and put one down here to get rid of all these dried up trees so we'll just and that'll also help because now there's gonna be logs that are closer to this however that's flooded now so we're gonna have to build a new one up here after we get our woodcutter in place so we're gonna go down to tree yep, there we go and we'll throw a lumberjack in over here and then he can just cut all these trees down for us where's this cut trees cut trees cut trees and since they don't want to take these trees down for us we'll just take them down ourselves and where else is he gonna have okay so he will be able to do all but these in the back. So we'll get rid of this, this grouping right here. Is that, that about it? Oh, I got one more sh uh, straight. Okay, there we go. And then uh, we also will take this path, or not this path, but the, uh, not the path, this, and uh, destroy it because it's now underwater. And we'll throw a new one up here once that stuff gets built. But we're going to speed up some time and let our beavers go. We're also going to throw a water storage area down here and maybe some food storage just so while they're working they don't have to travel back and forth to meet their needs as much um, but so far we're doing pretty good on everything else we have all this going so now that we have our planks being taken care of oh yeah they, there was also an i you get more potatoes per little bit of farmland versus uh blueberries and i know i like blueberries being a food source but I'm probably going to move a blueberry patch, our blueberry patch, somewhere else. I might throw them in the middle of this just so we can have more carrots and more, throw in some more potatoes over here. But that means that I have to build a new forester and our forester can just plant blueberries right here. We're just going to high prioritize him though. And we have one beaver without a job. That's because this guy needs to get built. Hopefully he gets built pretty fast. Yeah, see how they're hungry? We're going to try and avoid that by building a warehouse down here and stocking it with some food of some kind. Because they're hungry and they're thirsty, and we don't want them hungry and thirsty while they're working. There we go. So now we'll have some logs down here, and that'll shorten the trip a little bit once whoever gets down here to work gets down there to work. We'll also throw in a water storage. We'll just do a small tank for now. High priority that. That way they have water down here. And there we go. They are going very quickly. Uh, I don't know where the guy who works here was stuck at. Where's he at? Where are you at? <sighs> sleepy, sleepy beaver. He's going to bed right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, we don't need these houses just yet. That's why they're like that. Oh, you have nothing to do. Okay, so let's see. We're going to take our crops here and we're going to plant some blueberries in the central courtyard and that means once these are planted i will mark all these for demolition heresy i know but it is what it is we're gonna need this land for farming and other things and as where is it where is it a uh, clear planting area not clear planting area just i can't think of the maybe it is clear unmark okay yeah we just don't i just don't want the green or the look of it being planted in so that's fine as long as they all get planted in because i can just unmark them for planting except that one that one needs to get planted and soon we will have a nice big area of blueberries here and we'll get rid of those and we may even get rid of these down here like uh i gotta see how big my fields are again they're four by however big so we'll clear a We'll clear the same size planting area. We'll do another field down here of potatoes. Yeah, we need potatoes to grow up. So we're gonna clear that area. Just leave the rest of that as blueberries for now. Uh, this is done, so now I can just get rid of his hut. And go do whatever. And we're just gonna clear the planting areas over here. And there we go. Now we just have some wild bushes around our area, which is 
kind of the look I'm going for, I guess, right here. Nine days. Uh, how's our food looking? Food is meh right now. It's not great, but it's not awful. It'll recover. We're going to get there, hopefully. Especially with the blueberries being out of stock, as they are. Where is my worker at? Where are you? Go to work, my guy. There we go. We're getting some potatoes in. I know these are like the last priority for me right now. Have we gotten another one of these built yet? No, because we need gears, and we're not making gears right now, are we? You should be paused. I don't even need you. You should be the only thing that should be running. So yeah, the next big thing we're going to want over here is gears. But in order to do that, we're going to need probably some windmills. Or some form of power bank. How are they doing down here? Oh, he started to cut down some of the trees already. That's nice. Because now that a tree has been cut down, I could just do that. And the same right here. And now I can just put in our levees here with a road. And then I can do the same right here as he cuts these down. And we can take a storage area. Where's storage at? I always lose where storage is. Do a large pile right there. And you see how that's got water in it now? Now at least they have water next to them. It's not a whole lot, but you know, it's enough. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Eventually that one will get cut down, I'm pretty sure. Or do we have that one marked for cutting? Yeah, we do. Okay. So he is doing a fantastic job of clearing this area up for us. And pretty soon this entire reservoir is going to be too deep. By the end of this drought, this reservoir will be too deep is kind of crazy that we're already at that point in this game. I would like that one to get done and I would really like this to be high prioritized to get cut down somehow because the water in here lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. But we'll be able to throw some water pumps up over here. We'll mark some of this for demolition. We're gonna mark all this for demo. That way we can get access over here and we're gonna turn this into our new pumping area as well. Oh, uh, we have food again. We have grilled potatoes mostly, but food is food. What are y'all doing? Y'all are... I have haulers for that, don't I? I guess, whatever. Beavers being beavers. Um, let's throw in our new... There we go. And that is now done. And we'll be able to put a platform up right here and a staircase to that. And they will be able to get up on top of this wall at any time they need. That's terrifying how quickly that happened. Um, let's high prioritize this because we're going to start getting to where we need metal pretty soon at the rate that these beavers are freaking going. I would like this to be built already, but I guess my builders are too busy building these. But at least they just get to grab logs from down here too, so it is going up a little bit faster, which is nice at least. Can you? Oh, he can cut all these down too. So we're going to assign him to cut these trees down. We're going to cut all these trees down as well. And then obviously as he gets done cutting these trees down, we'll just move him around. They're already done with that one. All that's left is this one and this one. And that one needs one more log. So yeah. And one drought, they did all of that. That is wild. Okay. Now the important things here... I am going to assign high priority to this because I want those gone. I want to get rid of all of these carrots. So after they're harvested, because we're just going to go straight potatoes. Straight to the potatoes is where we're going. They'll still have blueberries. They have plenty of blueberries in the area. Okay, so we're going potatoes here. And then we're going to go potatoes here as they harvest all this. Come on. One more. One more. Get, get rid of it. Get rid of it, please. Thank you. Thank you. Now what else can we... A beehive. That's what I need. But we need paper for the beehive. But we have a massive amount of food now. Um, mostly carrots, which is fine, because I know we have our big carrot fields over here. But now we'll have some gigantic... Uh, four rows of potato fields. That's a decent amount. Oh, you don't have any power right now. Makes sense. Four rows of potato fields. To make things look better, I'm going to demolish this and this. Just because you know how I am with my roads. I would like to have them all kind of organized. So we're just actually, we're just going to demolish all. We're just going to get rid of all of these blueberries. And we're going to leave these blueberries for now. 
We'll just leave those for now. I think that's fair. Oh, you need planks and planks. Where are all of my planks still going? Also, who doesn't have a job? Oh, because that's... Okay. That's fine. So we're going to leave these blueberries for now. We're going to get rid of all of these blueberries, though, because I want to finish this area up. I know it looks kind of silly right now. That's fine. No oh, demolish buildings. Yeah, that works for me. Good enough for me. But we have a crap ton of food. We have water. Um, eventually, this will get built whenever we get gears going again in two days. And look at that. Look at that. We have our little work area built down here already, which is awesome. Actually, we could build another lumberjack down here, couldn't we? We'll build another lumberjack over here. And then he'll come cut all this stuff down. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And that's built now. So now we can start harvesting metal. Oh, where is it? There it is. Uh, yep. We're going to get you and you don't even have to. Uh, right there is fine. And then we're going to throw in a storage area warehouse just across from it and it's gonna take into its cell maybe not where does what does metal get stored into piles what do you what do you store metal scrap metal okay there we go perfect oh all of my planks are just sitting in a storage area aren't they mm. interesting also, if I moved that over, I'd be able to fit another storage pile right there. That probably would have been better use of my terrain here. Actually, a better use of my terrain would be to put more of these back to back to back and then stack those on top of it. So we're going to do this. I'm going to do that, actually. We're going to warehouse, warehouse. Thankfully, we get to keep all of the debris. Material, material, and warehouse. And we're going to high prioritize these. Then we'll throw some paths in. Doop, doop, doop. And then we're just going to throw a few large piles in right here. And we'll put a staircase in right here. And there we go. We now have doubled our storage area. One of these is going to take logs, and two of them will take planks. And then these are going to start accepting, what are we low on? Blueberries, uh, more carrots, and then more dandelions. Sure, we'll put dandelions in that one. That's fine by me. And then we'll high prioritize that. And we, oh no, oh no, oh no, hold on. Oh, it's 0.2 days. Okay, as long as nothing dries out in 0.2 days, we'll be fine. Everything here dried out without me paying attention. Oh well, we have water coming in. It will be fine. Things have been rectified as the drought has ended. And we're about to have a whole lot of water back flowing over this area. I just realized this entire area is now going to be flooded. Everywhere I put my workers, like, stuff. Why am I like this? I need to get their stuff up here. Alright, well, we'll figure it out. Till then, enjoy the time lapse, guys.
All right, guys, we're back and we have a 20 day drought, the longest drought we've had yet. So we're going to cut the flow to these pumps immediately, get him going. We're going to pause these water pumps. So I added a water dump in here just because uh, kind of like what we did in the last season, it keeps a little bit of water in this riverbed. And as long as we can keep more water in the riverbed than we're losing through evaporation. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we did end up clearing everything out, which is nice because now we're going to be able to build our secondary pump area. So we'll finally be able to replace these three pumps that we have. And we'll put them over here once we get this reservoir fully built up. And we're actually going the opposite direction now. So now they're coming uh, not through the water. They're going above the water. And as soon as they get all this built, they will have uh, another water facility and stuff over here, which is just nice for the beavers to have. Then we'll worry about all this stuff. Right now, uh, we have a 20 day drought. So this is gonna be the test run, if you would, of what our beavers can put up with. That only needs 30 planks. I have a lot of planks, but I guess all my beavers priority is down here for some reason. I'm not sure how the priority actually works for beavers. like what they actually do to get to certain things and places. I don't know. But they are in fact going, oh, they just built that. Or they're building that and building that. Uh, I'm gonna start getting rid of all these other things that are down here in the way. Cause once all this is built, it'll still flood a little bit, but they only have to deal with it for one more. What am I doing? I could have just put this up here. Now that they have a way up and around. I'm not a bright, yeah, we're just, I'm not smart. Let's throw our storage and our water storage in up here. Where's our storage at? We'll put a small tank in over here. Actually, we'll put some small tanks in for them to have water while they're working. And then we'll put a storage, a new large pile in for them right here. And this will be where most of the supplies, if not all the supplies, come from for the rest of this build in this corner. We will finish the Mega Dam. The Mega Dam will be finished. Uh, these guys don't have any work, so I'm going to just get rid of them. And I don't think they can cut the trees down after they're submerged, so maybe they can. We'll throw one in and test it. Uh, we'll throw a lumberjack in up here because we still have a bunch of this marked for cutting so if he can reach down there he'll just keep cutting all that down but I mean other than that as long as they build all this stuff and then I think I'm gonna start getting rid of this path that's under the water just so they mainly take the dry path I don't know I feel like this path is probably faster for them we'll see we shall see we have a whole 16 more days left to figure it out we have zero beavers without a job. We have one open bed. I think we're doing pretty good for now. I would like to start on the rest of the industrial district, but for now, I think we're doing okay. Is that gonna get built? Okay, soon enough, soon enough, soon enough. Now we have 10 gears right now. This needs 20. Hmm. This is one of those things that should have been prioritized. More water storage is always a priority for me. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it during the time lapse. I forgot the levee was up to full height and it kind of flooded. So have to avoid that in the future. How are we doing over here? All the water pumps are out. You're just continually dumping water into this reservoir. Hopefully, hopefully it can stay full or at least enough water to keep the crops from dying out. Uh, we have a lot of food now. Still mostly blueberries, but um, a lot of potatoes now, which is really good. A lot of potatoes now. How are we doing down here? So we have the first water tank. That's good. Soon we'll have the second, third water tanks done for this project and they'll start building away to their heart's content. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Cause that'll bring it up to, oh, did I? Oh, I thought I missed like a runoff area. That's not a big deal. And it should be 
the right height. Hopefully. What, we have another one, two, two layers being built up. Yeah, I think one, two. So by the time we're done with this dam, the water level should, in this reservoir, be as high as my normal area over here. That's a lot of water. That is a ridiculous amount of water. There we go. We have two water tanks. Soon we'll have three. Um, I don't know if he's... Where's he at? Oh and he's over here eating. That's what he's doing. He's snacking, getting some water, and then going away. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. What we can do now is... Actually, we can throw a... Oh, we have four. That's fine. Uh, we're going to take one of these uh, lumberjacks. We're going to put one over here. And we're going to get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. And then we're going to cut these trees down because they're in the way of our... They're in the way of our... Uh, where our new water pumping facility is going to be. So... Hopefully that gets taken care of. Where's the... Where's he at? Why are you bringing wood all the way down here? That's not your job. But hey, now we have logs down here. Um, obtain. These should all be set to obtain, right? I think that's the right way. And then supply and empty. So realistically what I want to do is get these all set to uh, supply and then set little water facilities out throughout the uh, city. So the big tanks get immediately from the source and then it gets distributed. But that's later on down the line. Much later down the line. 13 days left in our drought. Whew, boy. This water is doing a fantastic job of not going anywhere though. Here comes the beavers. Are any of these set to supply? No, they're not. Okay, that's fine. But now we have five, which puts our water storage at 300 times five. Um, 1500, yeah, math. I'm not good at math, don't look at me. We have a lot of planks now. That is a lot of storage. We might have to get a uh, underground pile going soon, just so we can hold all of our logs. Because once this project's done, we're going to have way too many logs being produced at a constant rate. Um, have you been cutting down trees? It looks like he has. He has logs. Let's follow him and find out. Oh, he's got such a long commute to work. By the time he gets to work, it's already like three hours into the day. Oh, he is, in fact, cutting trees down while he's swimming. Nice. There you go, buddy. Okay, you keep cutting those trees down, bud. The rest of y'all will eventually get done with this project, I assume. Eventually. Where are they going? Are they doing... What are y'all doing? Y'all are doing these for some reason? Instead of just going along the wall? These beavers make no sense to me in the way that they build things. Their priority list is kind of messed up, but it is what it is. We are having a severe lack of jobs at this point. So I think what our hauler, uh, yeah, we need, we have nine children right now though. So it fluctuates, but as long as the haulers are good, I think we'll be fine. Now we need to figure out the power situation. I was thinking a bank of windmills and a gravity battery. However, in order to do a gravity battery, we need metal, which means we need a smelter. And then a mine. Is there a place for a mine on this one? I don't think there's a place for a mine on this map, is there? Oh, there is. It's way out here, though. Ooh, that's like another district's worth of stuff, isn't it? It wouldn't be that hard to make another district over here, though, with this river flowing that way. Or even this, turning this into a reservoir. Doing, like, some islands on top of it. That'd be kind of cool. 
They're almost done with this corner, at least. This is a lot of logs. <laughs> this is a ridiculous amount of logs. But they're almost done with that corner. And then they have to do all of this, which they can't do until they get to uh, the ones above it. So I think they're just doing the ones that they could reach right now instead of going along these paths. Which makes sense, but still. Some of our baby beavers are growing up. What are we missing over here? What is planks. We need planks. That's it. These literally just need planks. Okay. We're going to prioritize these because they help the beavers grow up and keep the beavers a little bit happy. We also are starting to harvest these blueberries right here, which are nice. We're going to finish cleaning this area up because we had some stuff that survived our purge. Got our pine trees up here, our maples doing pretty good over here. Prioritize him by the haulers, that way we always have water flowing. There we go. Just don't want to lose the water that's in this area. It's, it is awfully low right now. Which brings me to question, how much water would I have to dump? See, it's already lower than that, so how much water would I have to realistically dump? to refresh my dam over here. This might not be a good idea of what I've just done. See how the water spreads out once it hits over here and it stops? I don't think I have enough water in my reservoir to actually refresh down here if there was an emergency. Yeah, no, we're gonna raise these back up because um... well, we got some water flowing in. We got some, not as much as I would have liked, but uh, a lot of water did flow over, so hopefully that little bit of water lasts us a little bit. That might have been a mistake. Good thing it auto-saved. If not, we can always build some emergency water pumps down here. We have plenty of water. Are they building this guy in the corner? Yeah, they are. Okay. Almost done with that corner. This is seven days left. Seven days. We're just going to bring these back to 1.5, just for when the uh, waters come back. Kind of tempted to put some dams up here, too, and have another reservoir. Or not a reservoir, some, um... Oh, what are they? Uh, floodgates. That way I can dump water into here as an emergency. There we go. Food is definitely still a lot of grilled spatter dock, which makes me happy, actually. I took a risk making this spatter dock farm thing area last time and it turned out to be well worth it. Problem is if I should replace this with a row of dams, that way I can also do a floodgate or a water dump over here to keep the spatter dock always hydrated. Oh, cool. You're done. We're just gonna get rid of you as soon as uh, your goods get depleted. Can we stop cutting? Oh no, he's still cutting trees down. Even better. How are we doing over here? Three more over here, and the mega reservoir is done. These are still pumping, but they're at the very edge, and they still have six days. Dumping that water was a mistake, I think. What if we... No. We can start by designing these new water pumps. And where are we going to put them? What, one, two, three, four. See how nice that looks now, too? Because now the paths can just do this. And then I can demo that down. So if I actually come up here and do it again, once that one's destroyed. Uh, I'm not good at counting, so it has to come up over here. And then come over, right? Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm not a very smart person. Hold on. I could just throw a levy in right here. Or, even better, I could do a one of those, and I could do a water pump on top of that. And that will be a new water pump facility for us, and I can stack water storage directly behind it. Hey, our beavers. Uh, who has nothing to do in range? Okay, cool. That means we can get rid of your job, though. There's still plenty of logs over here that y'all need to pick up, so uh, if you could pick all these up, please, and use them, that'd be nice. 
Thank you. So with these being built, then I can take some storage. Where is my storage button? And I would love to get the large tanks, but those require metal. So right now we're going to do some more medium tanks. And we're just going to take them and we're going to line them back here. And we'll do one, two, three, five, six large tanks for now, just like that. And these are going to get prioritized. And so is this guy. Um, I think we are done pumping water. Yep, so these three are out of water, so we're going to pause, pause, and pause. And we're going to start using the emergency water for here for now. Because these, even if they got built immediately, could not maintain. They couldn't pump water right now. So, that is what it is. We have 10 jobs right now that need workers and 13 children. The children, they yearn to work. Let them work. 12 logs. Cool, that one's almost done. We only got two and a half days. Hopefully 600 water is enough for our beavers for two and a half days. Uh, we're going to reduce working hours to 12 hours a day. Just so they don't work up as much of a thirst. I would really like it if you would get your... Oh, food's fine. Food is fine. I was looking at these. Never mind. I was looking at raw materials, not actual food. Um, yeah, big concern now with water. I think we'll be fine with 500 for two days. Because they really only drink when they're working, so for the most part. Got one and a half days, and we've gone down. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, the only crop y'all have is potatoes, right? Yep, okay, I thought so. Hey, there we go. These will always be high priority jobs. They're already building these, which makes me quite happy. That needs some planks. Well, we got plenty of planks. That'll get built pretty quickly. And then we only got one day left until the end of this drought. So I think we made it. We have 400 water left. Cut it a little bit close because of that experiment, but I think we're going to be just fine. This guy probably also isn't helping because I had them dumping some of our water. So we're just going to leave that because we have one day left and this new water bank is going along nicely. And soon I will actually be able to use those. But for now, I should probably pause them. Uh, he has nothing to do in range now, so I can just get rid of his shenanigans do that and then i'm actually going to go through here and pause all these guys because they can't pump water yet and they won't be able to until this next layer is completely done but we have made it to the end of the dry season with 360 water left so we cut it a little bit closer than i would have liked just a little bit a little closer than i would have liked on that one yeah, we did fine. Our beavers are fine. Everyone's fine. Because that is the end of the drought, so we're going to do that wet season time lapse.
All right, guys, that is the end of the wet season. It was a fairly short one. We have a 17-day drought. Not the worst, as we just dealt with the 20-day drought. But if you want to see what happens to the beavers, you're going to have to come by next week. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.